Hey YouTube, Elite Four Legend, and today I've got something a little new for you today. Um, I'm opening a 2DS, and I actually, this isn't a true unboxing. I actually made a video before, and I when I uploaded it to YouTube, the quality was horrible. Um, I didn't record in HD for some reason. I must have messed around with my camera for a minute, but anyway, so this is a, not a true unboxing. I also have a... Uh, um, Legendary Treasures booster pack. Like I said, I've already opened it, but I'll show it to you again. So first off, um, I bought this 2DS over the 3DS. I decided just to save $40 because I, I've i played with the 3DS and to be honest, I don't really like the 3D. It, it's kind of, you have to keep your head at a weird angle and it kind of gives me a headache after a while. So anyway, I bought this. I also bought Pokemon XY, which I haven't played yet. But uh, I got this. I got the walkthrough, and I usually buy walkthroughs for most of uh, most of my games. And I really like this one. This is hardback. It's really good quality. It's got a lot of information on it, and you've got a your screen cleaner, which is pretty cool. So I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll play. I know a lot of people like to do walkthroughs on video and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I'm still thinking about that. But anyway, let's go. So like I said, this is a 2DS. I got the red and black because that's my favorite color. Um, that's just saying that you can play um, all games, the 3DS games and regular DS. Uh, go to the back. You've got basically all the stuff the DSi has. Um, you got your internet. You can make a Miis. You can make Miis on this one, which is, which I actually really like. Um, then you have your shop stuff, whatever. Um, as far as specs goes, doesn't really talk about it on here. But anyway, I'll go over that. I haven't played this too much, but uh, from what I have played, I really enjoy it. Um, you've got first of all, you got your cable. It's just your standard. Just your standard USB. Um, I I think it'll fit my DSi. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty positive. Uh, then you have your you have your paperwork, obviously. And then I thought this was kind of cool. You get little Nintendo cards. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll I'll find something to do with those. Okay, so for the device itself. I really enjoy this thing. It feels good in the hand. It doesn't fold like it doesn't fold like you're used to, um, which I actually kind of like. It's a I like the change. Um, but anyway, the buttons for the eyes. I really like the joystick. That's probably my favorite part. And the L and R buttons feel really great. I was a little worried about this it, with it only being a mono microphone or a mono. Uh, audio phone but I actually really it, it sounds it sounds fine uh, as we go and turn it on it kind of the weird thing though it kind of kind of takes a long time to power on oops and when you're getting out of something it let's see if I can so we'll go to we'll go to internet which is surprisingly really fast it's faster than my old DSi. Um, last time I was on here, I was just on the, I was just on Pokemon, the Pokemon website. But uh, it's it's really fast. So if I if I just go to, let me just see if I can click on something real quick to. Uh, let's see if it'll go. Sorry guys, there we go. Um, shoot, let's go back. So it's, it's it's like I said, it's pretty fast. As far as, and it's not going back, but anyway, you can just navigate with this, which I really like. So I can already tell this is way better quality in this video because last time I recorded this, you couldn't really see very well. 
So anyway, the screen revolution is really nice, and like I said, it kind of takes, I don't know, it's kind of annoying how long it takes to get back to the home screen. But anyway, that's that. That's the 2DS. I might do a little more reviews on it, I haven't decided yet. So anyway, let's go to Legendary Treasures. I've never opened one of these before, and I thought it was really kind of, really kind of weird. Let me just get these sorted out really quick. Okay, first off, it was a bliss. It was a, just a kind of a pack. So it came with a coin. I don't have the coin, but it came with an Ampharos, which I really like because it's not a it's not a promo. And I, I always like when they just do the the featured cards, not promo. So with this, I've noticed I've been watching a few videos online, and I noticed you don't get a reverse every pack, but you do get two. Um, uh, RC cards, the Radiant Collection cards, and I actually kind of like those. For those of you who watch my videos, I don't collect the reverses, all of them are for trade, but I think I might start doing the Radiant Collection. So first off, we got a Gathita. Oh, and uh, you also have chances of pulling uh, two EX cards, which I thought was really cool. Um, the Cat's Meow did it a few times in her box opening. If you haven't checked her out, you need to. She's amazing. So we got a Gothita, Oshawa, Snivy, Krogunk, Shuckle, Gabite, Rayquaza Hollow, which whenever you pull a hollow for your first pack, that's always good. And then Empoleon. So I pulled two rares actually. If you can see that. So I really think it's quite cool that you can pull uh, two rares. Let it focus. There we go. Okay, so then we have to go to the Radiant Collection. We have a Stunfish. If you look down there, you got RC12, RC, and uh, RC25. And then, so you get a really, a really sparkly one. And then you kind of get just a, a, kind of a dumbed down sparkly. I don't know what else to call it. But then you have a Servine. There we go, RC. So, yeah, so that's Legend of Treasures. Um, let me come over here. And I've got two booster boxes there that I am planning on opening next week. I've got a Sylveon box. I've got a Faroki, um, a Fennekin, and a Chespin XY deck that I'm going to open also. So look forward to those. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, follow my Twitter and check out my blog. Thanks, guys. Bye.